เอาเอาเย็บเย็บครับ I kind of cut my hair. What what little hair I have, I cut it for the summer. That's what I usually do. Cut it all off. It's a little easier that way. So, what's going on? Um, thanks uh, for tuning in. Today's Thursday release. Happy Thursday, everybody. Um, what's new? Well. Today's song, I, I I'm kind of on a parent uh, parent kick, I guess. Last time I think I released a song was the game, and that was about being a parent. And this actually, this song is about the same idea. Mostly, it's about parents of teenagers. That's a whole other kettle of fish. There, it's pretty. It can be pretty tough, and um, there's a lot of uh, dramatic things that go on. In their teens, it seems from about thirteen to twenty something. Uh, it can be pretty hard. One of my sisters told me that just wait till your kids are teenagers, and you'll know what parenting is all about. Yeah, she was right. It's pretty tough, but you know it's worth it. But it's hard. So we've all had those things. So I wrote a uh, a song called "Where Will You Go Now." It's mostly written from, I guess, a dad's perspective, I suppose. I was thinking of daughters when I wrote it, but it's it applies to sons as well, and it's just kind of like the the world has so many voices, you know, shouting out at your kids, trying to uh, get their attention, trying to uh, win them over, and uh, there's a lot of competition out there for your children's affection. And a lot of it's negative. A lot of it's not so good. And so, this song "Where Will You Go Now" is kind of a just a song about that, and and maybe trying to argue with your kid, trying to reason with a uh, a teenager. And there's there is a bridge in the middle that goes, you know, maybe maybe I was wrong, and then baby I was wrong. Kind of, I I sort of uh, visualized a a big fight happening or a big uh, blow up of some sort. Ah, that's what happens when you're trying to raise your kids. You love them so much, you don't really want anything negative to happen to them. Um, the song's loosely based on an on an Irish tune called Gypsy Rover. Brought my guitar just to. If you recognize this, uh... the Gypsy Rover went over the hill. He was bound for the valley so shady. He whistled and he sang till the green woods rang, and he won the heart of a lady. Singing a de do, a de do, da de, a de. He whistled and he sang till the green woods rang, and he won the heart of a lady. So that's the Gypsy Rover. This song, you'll you'll tell this song is reminiscent of that one. I even at the very end of the song, I take a line from the Gypsy Rover. Um, he came at last to a mansion fine down by the river Clady. Now, this song used to be called uh, The Father or Father-in-Law because Gypsy Rover is about a girl who runs off with this whistling Gypsy Rover. And the dad gets on his fastest steed and roams the valley all over looking for his daughter. So that kind of, I'm playing off that same theme. That's why this song is sort of similar. You'll see the similarities. Uh... And actually, at the end of the video, I, I found a a picture of the River Clady, and I think it's in Northern Ireland. So maybe Hugh, Hugh would might might know where that is uh, from road camping. Um, I got a lot of uh, people to thank too. Uh, I'll I'll put them along the bottom here somewhere. Uh, all the co contributions I've been getting. Well, you know. <laughs> Not tons, but Glenn K just 
uh, gives and gives. Like, it's so sweet. Like, blah, blah, blah. that's so nice. And Glenn wanted a... He wanted, oh, a better version of Pale... Not a better version, but Pale Horse to be released. I can't... I will try to do a better version. That's just such a bad recording of it out in the sticks there. But I'll try to get that. And Karen mentioned... Uh, one of my old songs that I did a video of uh, about Bob, uh, Bob Mercer, who used to come and visit, and I, my, now my wildwood flowers weep, so I'll try to get that one out too. But coming up, my brother Liam and I are working. I'm going to get my daughter Caitlin. I got another KT and I song that we're going to do. Uh, I have another sort of a, a song for my Steve Wallace fans. That I'm I'm working on. I'm trying to. Well, it's you know, another sort of Steve Wallace esque uh, song. But for now, uh, I think that's just about everything. Please watch all the way through. Please like and subscribe. Tell your friends. We're at about twenty one hundred hours, so we're doing really good. We're we're getting closer and closer to the four thousand hour mark. And. Yeah, if you could tell your friends and share it and all that good stuff, we'll we'll go from there. So I'll, I'll, I'll do the video after this. And then what I try to do is on Saturday, I release the, the song just on its own. But this is a lyric video tonight of uh, Where Will You Go Now? And I appreciate all the support, all the comments. Um, singing with Abandon, I, I'm working on one of those I have a pretty neat uh, I went out the other day to, to do one and I got some footage it, it worked out really good but the house was a little bit too real it was from the 60s and I went in there and there was so much stuff that I actually really felt uh, bad about it like I was trespassing so I'm probably not going to show that one. It was uh, there was too much life left in that house. It's hard to explain, but um, so what I did was I was commiserating, not commiserating. That means you'd be uh, miserating with me, but I was kind of talking about it on the camera a lot, how I how it bothered me, and then on the way home I was taking the backwoods, well not backwoods back roads and. Out in the middle of the field is the most beautiful house. Abandoned is all I get out. And it was, that was exactly what I wanted. So we'll try to, I want to try to piece something together. I do want to show some of the other one. I did sing a song at the other place out in the uh, you know, beautiful bit of wilderness right in front of this house or just off to the side. You can hear the frogs creaking or croaking in the background. And so I did a song there. And then I did another song at this uh, other abandoned house. So I got those. I'm trying to work on that. I'm trying to get uh, my craft figured out. Sorry. Blah, 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 blah. That's all I do is talk. So this is a little long. But again, the longer it is, the more hours I can uh, stretch out of here. So, uh... Sorry. Okay. 
Thanks for watching, you coyotes. And uh, we'll talk to you soon, okay? Yip, yip. Who will be in your story now? Who will be cast in the main role to all the cheers and take a bow? Who will enter then stage right? And who will entertain your cravings in the night to the sound of your heart? And who will pave this way ahead? And who will get up in the morn And feed the fear and walk the dead? Who has left themselves behind? And who is tearing at the fabric of their mind? And can you mend? In time to shine And where will you go now? Will you go now? Where will you go now? Will you go now? Have you established a thin line? And have you entertained the point where you'll turn and look behind? Who is shaking your firm hold? And are you taking the directions now and doing what you're told? See where you went wrong? Or can you see the way the notes fell in the cadence of the song? And in the bridge you say you're right. And if anybody questions you, it ends up in a fight. And I'm tired now. And where will you go now? Will you go now? Where will you go now? Will you go now? Maybe I was wrong. Maybe I was wrong. Maybe I was wrong Maybe I was wrong Down by the river clay